have you heard of cookie diets? Believe it or not, they do exist, and many claim they helped them lose weight. Registered dietitian Carrie Glassman is here with the skinny on four popular cookie diets. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning. What is a cookie diet? Basically, a cookie diet is a basic meal replacement diet. But hopefully, you're so satisfied from the cookies that you're not gonna wanna go and eat anything else until your sensible dinner. So you eat, I could eat Chips Ahoy or Mrs. Fields all day long and then eat a sensible dinner? Well, technically, if you ate a few Chips Ahoy or a few Mrs. Fields and you didn't o go overboard and then you ate a reasonable dinner, and you kept your calories under control, technically it's very similar to the cookie diet. However, the cookie diets are either fortified with a little bit of fiber or protein or some vitamins and minerals to help keep you full and add a little extra nutrition. Are they nutritious though? Well, we'll, we'll see at the end of this. They're just slight, I mean, they, better to eat real food. Okay, let's start <laughs> with, better to eat with real the food. Hollywood cookie diet. The Hollywood cookie diet is what you do is you have four cookies, you replace breakfast and lunch, they're 150 calories each, and then you eat a sensible dinner. A little bit of protein and fiber and some added vitamins and minerals. But again, pick them up at the drugstore, throw them in your bag. The real reason these work for people is for the convenience right. and the portion control. Okay, is that basically the same thing as uh, Dr. Siegel's? Very similar to these. Dr. Siegel's, he's, he started these around 1975, so he's been around the longest. Again, there are six cookies, so you have a whole bag throughout the day. But they're smaller. And they also come with vitamins and minerals, so you fortify your, di your cookie diet with vitamins and minerals, have a reasonable dinner. All right. I, I have to. Everybody's wondering, yeah, and I have to. You've got to have to try them. Now, he really talks about, on his website also, his amino acids, which mm -hmm. is the building blocks of protein, his special blend that helps keep you full. Protein does help provide satiety, meaning it helps keep you full. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything special about these. It doesn't these. taste great. I guess you could get used to it, but if you've had a real you, cookie, that's exactly. tough. Exactly, and also, real food. Yeah. You want to eat real food. Yeah. And then the Smart for and Life? And then the Smart for Life, you eat these six cookies. Again, replace breakfast and lunch. You can get these online or at their centers. They're about 105 calories each, and their concept is that they're teaching you to eat consistently throughout the day. But again, to your question about is it nutritious, you really should be getting that from real food. Right. And then again, you have a sensible dinner. Lastly, soy pal, I gotta say. So Especially with pal, the fly on top, it doesn't look that appetizing. These are all the rage in Japan. People in Japan have been doing these for years. This is the opposite from these diets. What you do is you replace your dinner with these, and you have your other meals with food. And they have something in it called okara, which is mm -hmm. a byproduct of soy. And when you have the okara with fluid, it expands up to three times in your stomach, so it keeps you full. Cool. So basically, you're supposed to feed the okara to expand your belly. All right, whatever you do, don't eat the cookies and your regular food. And Madonna said that Guy Ritchie, supposedly Madonna said Guy Ritchie lost his sex drive when doing a cookie diet, so I don't know. Stick with the real foods. Stick there you the go. Real food for all your vitamins and minerals. <laughs> and for your sex drive. Thank exactly. you. For more on cookie diets, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.